Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Thanks for joining us for our Southside Students Live. Uh, today, we're going to be spending the next few minutes together. Hopefully, you're having a good day. I hope that you can take a break from studying. I know a lot of you are doing your schoolwork. Um, I hope that you can take a break from sleeping or eating or binge watching, whatever it is you're doing, and just join us for a few minutes. Uh, so if you are in... Um, if you're in the chat, just say hi to us. Let us know uh, that you're here. We're going to be playing a game here in just a couple of minutes. And I want everybody to be involved. So you're definitely going to want to use the uh, comment chat section uh, for that. So uh, a couple quick reminders. So we are doing, um, right now we got Bingo and Serve is out there. So if you haven't seen it, go to our Instagram. You can go to our Facebook page. Uh, if you're subscribed to us on Remind 101, then, it's, uh, then it is out there. So... Um, definitely go and check that out, see if you can get five in a row, and then maybe even go more than that. So this, you've probably seen all these bingo boards uh, all over Instagram and everywhere, but this is a little bit different. This is just designed to kind of kickstart some ideas in ways that you can serve uh, other people and kind of get your mind out of your current situation, which might be a little bit sad or frustrating or confusing, uh, and just get your eyes on other people and putting other people first. So bingo and serve is, um, is a tool to help you do that. And let us know when you've got five in a row, and we would love to hear a story uh, if you'd be willing to. Uh, but we definitely want to thank you and just give you a little, uh, a little something for for playing along with us uh, at Bingo and Serve. The other thing uh, that we just started is uh, let me pull it up here uh, on the screen is ah uh, there it is uh, the Insta Mission. So every day this week uh, we've given you a different mission, just a, a different uh, picture to to post uh, on your Instagram. And uh, we have all of these Monday through Friday, a different thing for you to do. So hopefully you, I got, uh, we got some yesterday of some pets, so that's fun. Uh, and uh, today's is, let's see, uh, today's sibling selfie. So grab a, grab a selfie with one or all of your siblings. If you don't have a sibling, just like, I don't know, somebody that you consider to be like a brother or a sister, maybe get them on FaceTime and you can grab a screenshot that way. So Anyway, post it and make sure always make sure you tag Southsiders in that so we can so we can find it real, really easily. Okay, so um, we are going to we're going to play a quick game and we got everybody. Uh, if you are with us, uh, then say hi in the chat. Ali is joining us and she's hosting uh, the comment and chat section. So uh, so be sure to say hi. All right, so we have um, we're going to play this game. I don't know. It's it's okay. I confess that the title of the game is a little bit, just a little bit, not so great. Uh, but I couldn't think of anything that fit good. Okay, so I'm just calling it like or hike, as in like take a hike, which I know is a really old and lame expression. But it's basically like, hey, this is good or this is bad, like or hike. I don't know. It's it's whatever. But okay, so all you got to do in the comment section is... If you think this is a good thing, then thumbs up emoji. If you think it's a bad thing, then thumbs down emoji. Okay. All right. So the first thing is masks. All right. Masks in public. I've been in public a couple of times. Um, welcome, Mark Brown. Glad you're here. Uh, I've been in out of public a couple of times and I have worn a mask and I have not worn a mask. And there seems to be, at least the places I'm going, there seems to be more people wearing masks. So I want to know, like, if you've been outside or if you've been in public place or you go to the grocery store or wherever, um, are you wearing a mask or are you not wearing a mask? So, and if you want to tell us, like, in the comments why you choose to do or not do uh, in as regards to wearing a mask, then feel free. I got, I actually wore one. My mom sent me a bunch. Ah, oh, man, I forgot to bring them in here, but my mom sent a bunch that she made. Uh, I told you a couple weeks ago on our Sunday service that she is a national, nationally uh, recognized quilter. And so she made uh, some masks and sent them to us. So I wore one of my, wore one of my mom's masks that she sent. I've got this thing, Sunday Cool sent me sent me this thing. I can't put it on without without feeling like I should be like riding on a horse next to a locomotive, like about to rob the thing. So, but this is another thing. So masks, yeah. So um, if you're wearing a mask, is that yes, thumbs up. If you do not want to wear a mask when you're outside, thumbs down. I gotta confess, it took it's taken some time to get used to. I just feel weird walking through Publix with my 
face covered. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, let us know if you if that's a thumbs up for you or a thumbs down for masks. Okay. Uh, another conversation that I have heard, not super recently, but before, is year-round school. Rather than having summers off where you take like two or three months and you get that summer slide and you get, you get kind of like not so smart again um, and you forget all the stuff, what about if we had school all year round? So give us a thumbs up in the comments or a thumbs down. If you think year-round school is a great idea, yay! Thumbs down, not such a great idea. Um, and of course, I'm sure that there are like co pros and cons. Um, so, all right, that's that's the next thing. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Netflix party. I asked last week, like, who had been or been invited to or started or hosted whatever a Netflix party, and this was on our Instagram. And I don't think anybody had. Like, nobody, nobody was a part of it. Nobody. So, I wanted to know in the past week. Have you started or hosted or joined a Netflix party with anybody? And let us know what you're watching too. Like, I've been binge watching some stuff, and I'm kind of like running. I'm running out, so so I need some more suggestions. So let us know what what that is. Um, yeah. So yeah, Mark Brown says I wish I had one of the cool masks I've seen. Yeah. So I have this one, and I've got like the normal N. What is it called? N95 mask. I got a few of those. Um, and they just happen to be like, I've had them in my closet for, I don't know, since we've on well, 10 years or something. And I just happened to come across them a couple weeks ago. And so I was like, oh, hey, these are the masks everyone's talking about. So anyway, um, yeah, so, okay, so the next one, okay, Netflix party, um, like or hike, again, sorry for the title. Um, okay, so another thing that I've heard is like, when we're allowed to like congregate together again, like I've heard like there's not going to be like people aren't going to shake hands anymore. People aren't going to like have like any kind of contact or anything anymore. So do you think that's a good idea or do you think that's a stinky idea? Like I grew up in a family of huggers like and like a lot of the students in our youth group and my friends, I can't wait to see them and hug them. I don't know. I'm a hugger. So I would definitely go like thumbs down on that one. So Tell us in the comments if you think, yes, I'm in favor of, because some people are like personal space people, you know, like they got to have their little bubble and I like trying to like get a like hug and they're like, yeah, no, but I don't know. So no handshakes, no like personal contact, social contact. Do you think that's good? Do you think that's bad? Um, and then the last thing I want to ask if you think it's a thumbs up or thumbs down is iced coffee. And I know that's not a new thing, but I was talking with somebody about it the other day and I have tried it like the ice brew coffee. I've tried it. And for me, it's, I, I don't know. I can't get into it now. If it has like, if it's like a desserty kind of thing, then yeah, that's, that's fine. It's like a super sweet type of thing. Then that's good. But just like ice brewed cold coffee. No, I don't, I just don't get it. So for me, that would be a, that would be a thumbs down. Um, okay. So uh, let's see. But that was it. Okay, that was it for like or like or hike. Okay, so now we're going to play another game, uh, another game called Guess Who. And I'm going to describe um, a celebrity, right? And I've got him right here on my screen. And I want you to try and guess. Like, I'm going to give you some clues, and you have to try and guess who it is I'm describing. Okay, some of them are going to be probably pretty easy, and some of them might be uh, a little bit challenging. And uh, when I see it in the uh, in the chat, then I will I will reveal on the screen um, who it is and who got it right. Okay, are you ready? All right. So uh, the f this first actor, uh, oh, this first person is an actor, and I haven't really seen this person in a movie recently, but he started on Saturday Night Live. And then he left Saturday Night Live and he became a pretty, pretty well-known actor. He's known for making um, like parody songs. And like he, he, um, he made a song about Hanukkah. Um, that's not really parody, but he made a song about Hanukkah. I've heard his song about Thanksgiving. Um, he, I think he's, he's uh, from New York City. Um, he was in, let's see. Um, I'm trying to think. He was in uh, Happy Gilmore. 
Um, he was in Billy Madison. Um, I think there was this other one called 51st Dates. I think that was the name of the movie that this actor was in. So if you think you know who this actor is, then um, guess, you can guess in the comment section. I made this, this one's probably pretty easy. This might be one of the, one of the easier ones. Although I may just be a really, really good hinter and good uh, ex explainer. So um, who do, do you think this actor is? Uh, yes, yes, you can guess. Allie is in the chat. She's waiting for you. And she can, you can for sure guess, Allie, definitely. So who is this actor that I'm describing? I'm trying to think of something else. He has dark hair. I think it's kind of like curly. Oh, he did a movie with Don Cheadle. And I don't remember the name of it, but it was in New York City. And he rode like this little scooter thing. Um, let's see. Who what else can I think of? Um... He is, yes, yes. So let me let me hear your guess. It is yes, nice, nicely done. Adam Sandler was the guest. Congratulations, Allie. You don't win anything, but good job. Okay, the next one. The next one we're gonna go a, just a little bit further back in history. This guy is an artist. He is known for like pop art type of um, style of art. Um, he is just like super eccentric. He's known around the world. Um, he, he made famous things like, like iconic images of like the Campbell soup can. Um, let's see, Brillo pads. Um, uh, when he, when anytime, anytime you see his work, he might have like a, like a celebrity icon face, but in like four different colors and just kind of like really cool funky colors. Um, Robin, I, Robin says, I know, but I don't know if you're saying I know to this one or to the last one. So there's, there's probably like a 20 to 30 second delay in our, in our YouTube. So, um, I tr I'm trying to like fill the time. Okay. So this guy, uh, let's see, he wears glasses, I think. Um, he's got kind of a, I don't know. You look at him and you think, that guy, not you're not supposed to judge people by their looks, but that guy kind of looks like a, like an art, like an artistic kind of type of person. Um, let's see, what else can I? How else can I? Um, I think he was married to another somebody famous. Um, you should give your students money, <laughs> money if they get. Okay, all right. So if you get this one right, I will, I will give you some cash. I don't know what, I don't know. How, <coughs> how much I can afford, but uh, I will give you some cash. If a student gets this one right, I will give you some cash. I will give you a crisp, at least $5 bill, if you can get this one. I think I, I think that Mark knows it. That's my guess is why he's saying this. This might be a really hard one. But if you're into art, and I think like, uh, I'm going to take a guess, like 60s, 70s time frame of just like iconic art figures, um, then you, then you will know who this is. I don't, I don't see anybody guessing and maybe I made it, I don't know, maybe I made it too difficult, but here it is. This is the man, Andy Warhol is, uh, is who that was. Sorry about the, like he, the glare on the screen. You can't see Andy, but anyway, that's Andy Warhol. Uh, okay. Next one. This next person totally made out, not made out like kissing, but made out at the Grammys this year, I think like. Uh, this new, relatively new singer, like completely, um, I think just like, just crushed almost every category. She is, um, let's see, she sang a song uh, called um, uh, Bad, uh, oh, shoot, I forget the name of it. Um, bad Guy? Bad Guy? Um, so she, and when I saw this picture, I was like, she looks a lot like a, this actress on, from Parks and Rec that I, I'll show you both pictures in a second and you'll, and you'll see. So really, really like up near the top of the charts, even right now, um, musician. Um, so if you think if he was a regular, oh, okay. So Mark says he was a, Andy Warhol was a regular at Studio 54, not <laughs> Not that I know. 
Yeah, I wouldn't know anything about that, Mark. I don't know much about Studio 54, except there's some stories that are involved there. All right, so, um, so does anybody have a guess for who the musician is that I'm describing? Hmm, who could, I'm trying to think of some more hints, like, okay, oh, she has sometimes seems to have bright green part of her hair is colored like bright green um and has some really well-known songs that are playing heavy rotation on the radio right now so who is it any guesses if macy were here she would know i'm sure of it the answer is Billie Eilish. Now, okay, so look at that picture, right? Now, I'm a big Parks and Rec fan. Okay, so look at that picture and look at, look at that picture, right? It's April Ludgate from, from Parks and Rec. So just like go back between the two, right? They look, they're almost twins, right? I don't know if anyone can verify that this is actually, they're actually related. I don't know. That We could start a new rumor that um, this is Aubrey Plaza and uh, Billie Eilish are actually twin sisters. I don't think that works out mathematically, but uh, anyway, uh, Billie Eilish, Dab Cat, yes, Dab Cat, crack this, crack the code. Dab Cat, I don't know who Dab Cat is, but so glad you're here. Thanks for playing, Dab Cat. Okay, the next one, uh, the next person, this is like, okay, this guy will give you advice for any situation you can find yourself in. Um, he has a mustache uh, and he's bald and he's on television and he first got his start as kind of like this little side segment back in the day when Oprah Winfrey had a show and now he has his very own show. He's got a big podcast that he does, huge following. He's kind of like the, like the therapist to like, um, he's like America's therapist. And he almost has kind of like this dad quality to him. He is, I don't know where he's from, but he's got like a Southern accent. Um, super nice guy. Um, he has a, he's married. His wife's name is Robin. Um, he, I think his son has been on his show as well. His son might be, might be involved in, uh, <laughs> Steve Harvey, oh, that's a, that's a good guess. <laughs> Evan says Steve Harvey. I don't think Steve Harvey is America's therapist. <laughs> Counts, counselor. <laughs> good job, Evan. <laughs> Evan. Evan got it. <laughs> Dr. Phil, yeah, we're going to Steve Harvey for all of our life questions and advice. <laughs> but yeah, good job, Evan. Evan wins that one. <laughs> Steve Harvey. I'm going to be laughing about that like for the rest of the day. But okay, next one. Okay, this this uh lady female is like triple quadruple threat in as far as like entertainment and talent. Like she's done. She's she's I think she started off as a as a backup dancer and then she went to like solo career and she's been in movies. She was in a movie called Made in Manhattan. Um, not even a real, he's not even a real counselor. What? Dr. Phil is not a real counselor. I, I don't accept that. <laughs> he counsels me every day at four. So, um, just kidding. So, okay. Back to the, the current one. Okay. So she started off as a backup dancer, got a solo career. Um, she has had like, I pretty sure like Grammy award winning, um, artist. She's been in movies. Uh, she is currently married to a recently retired base pro baseball player. So let's see. She, um, oh man, she probably has like a clothing line. She has a, um, brr, uh, I think she's maybe been a, I think she's been a judge on like one of those like talent competition shows. I can't really remember. I get her mixed up with Paula Abdul sometimes. So maybe that's who I'm thinking of. But I think she was a judge on, on, um, on some TV show. Okay. So was a backup dancer is now a singer, entertainer, uh, actress, 
um, I think as a, like a fashion clothing line, married to an ex uh, or formerly retired pro baseball player. Not Jennifer Lawrence. That was a really good guess. Not Jennifer Lawrence. But you have the initials right. So that actually you have the first name right, Braden Reedy. Um, you're you're so close. Not Jennifer Lawrence. Does anybody else have? I'm trying to think of other things that I could say about her. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know much more about her. I guess I think she was a judge on a on a TV show. Um, known for dancing. That's where I think that's where she got her start. Backup dancing. Um, if I give you any clues about her songs, I feel like it would just be like a total giveaway. Um, Jennifer Lawrence. Good. That was a good guess. Braden Reedy. Good guess. We need, I need like another, uh, I need another like really good clue. Super Bowl. Oh, that's a, yes. Mark Brown. That's a good, that's a good suggestion. Super Bowl is another good clue. She, she performed at the Super Bowl. Oh, you guys, I feel like you're right there at it. Who is this former backup dancer, singer, actress, wife to retired pro baseball player? Um, uh, A-Rod, I think, is who she's married to. Former famous Yankee. Um, they do, let's see. They do, like, they do, um, I think they're on TikTok think right now they have a lot of a lot of like cute little videos that they do together um ah, let's see <laughs> i cannot we're not we're not getting any we're not getting any more guesses well breeding rating came breeding breeding Reedy came the closest with uh jennifer lawrence and it is jennifer lopez j-lo jenny from the block evan lear there you are with that j-lo guess good job you got it right Okay, uh, this next one, uh, this guy is an actor. Uh, he is currently, just started a few weeks ago, this thing called Some Good News, where he does this web show of only good news. Like, he's a news reporter, but he only does good news. Um, he was on The Office. Um, he is married to a, a famous actress as well, who was in Mary Poppins Returns. She played Mary Poppins, in fact. Uh, her name is Emily. So he's the husband of Emily, the actress who was uh, Mary Poppins in Mary Poppins Returns. Um, he has kind of a long last name, although a very common first name. Um, let's see, he is, uh, oh, the name of that other, there's another show that he's on, Jack, uh, Jack Ryan. He's Jack Ryan in the, uh, the series, I think it's on uh, Amazon Prime. He has been, oh, he if you saw A Quiet Place, that kind of like um, movie. Yes, there he is. Evan Lear gets it. John Krasinski. Got it. Jim from The Office, one of my all-time uh, favorite shows. Yes. All right. Um, I don't know if you want to do any more. I have a few more left. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do at least one more just because I'm having a good time. Okay, so this guy is currently, um, ah, this is going to give it away, but he's currently a a judge on The Voice, which is an awesome show that I really like. Um, he's a judge on The Voice, and let's see, he's one of, there are three guy judges, so he's one of those. He's married, I think he's married to somebody famous as well. Um, I think. Macy, do you know who I'm talking about? The judge? Okay. So um, he did a, if you saw the lip sync battle, he did uh, Can't Touch This by MC Hammer on the Lip Sync Battle show. He is a world-famous musician, plays piano, um, one of the four judges on The Voice. Um, I don't know of any. I'm sure he's won a ton of Grammys. That's probably why he's a judge and a coach on The Voice. Yeah. Um, and he's, he's, I, I feel like he's married to another famous person, like a, like a woman who's famous, but I don't really... I can't remember her name, but is it like anyway, Christy? what? Christy? Christy? I don't know. I don't know either. Like yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember her name. Oh, nice. Evan Lear gets it. It is John Legend. Did you say happy birthday? 
Good job, Evan. Oh, happy birthday, Evan. Yes. That's what I came Thank you. <laughs> Macy came in to remind me. Yes, happy birthday, Evan. Uh, that's exciting. All right. Well, we do we do have some more, but maybe I'll save those for another time. Thank you so much for you guys uh, who were playing who were playing Guess Who. Well, that was uh, that was fun. So uh, let's see what else I got on my agenda. Okay, so um, I've been thinking, and I mentioned this the other day. I've been thinking like when a lot of people have asked me uh, and Allie, our other youth pastor, I'm sure. When do we get back together? Like, when do we restart? When do things open up? When can we, like, do the mix again? When can we go back to the church building? When can we do our blitz? When can we hang out together uh, again? So, um, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. It just depends on the whole situation. But my mind is already, like, kind of planning our big, like, reunion, our big, you know, get together uh, we, when we can do things. And, okay, so that's, but that's going to be, like, a, like a time and a place, right? Like that's going to be almost like an event, you know, when we, when we get back together. Um, so before that, um, there's not just like logistical plans that have to be in place. I think there's like some spiritual things that, uh, that we can do uh, as well. Okay. So back in the day, sometimes I wish I was born at a time when like everybody was like traveling westward, you know, like, and it was kind of like a new country and people were traveling westward and, um, you know, they, they got the covered wagons and the wagon train and you know they're discovering new land and they're claiming land and all this stuff sometimes i wish i was kind of born in that i really like to just carry a six shooter on my hip that's really what it comes down to but um i have you learned you probably learned this maybe in, in in american history um when there was either when it was nighttime and time to camp or when there was trouble some kind of threat what they would do is that they would take all of their wagons and they would like circle them right they would, they would bring everybody together and they would circle the wagons, right? So I think if we're not careful in our own spiritual community, we can kind of take on that mentality. Like we can, we can be like, okay, we got this virus thing. We got this quarantine thing that we're dealing with. So let's all circle the wagons so that we try and keep ourselves safe, right? And we can not do what is really the most important thing to do right now. And that's like, look outward right so one of the things that uh one of the analogies that i have used is let's just say um let's just say that you're on a big ship right let's say you're on a cruise ship right and it sinks it it uh, gets a hole and it starts to sink and you've got to take a lifeboat and there's tons of people out in the ocean just kind of floating around trying to tread water right and you're in this lifeboat now you have one of two things that you can do you can either sit in the lifeboat and just kind of like fold your hands on your lap and say, ah, I'm so glad that I'm in this lifeboat and I'm so glad that I'm safe. Um, and isn't it nice that I'm dry and I'm going to be okay. Uh, and that's okay. That's, that's an okay response. But I think the better response is that you would turn to the side of the lifeboat and that you would see the people who are still in the water, still in need, and you would reach out to them and you would say, Hey, you can be safe as well. You can have the security and the safety and the peace that I have. And as followers of Jesus, it's I think it's our it's our responsibility not just to be glad that we're saved, but to let other people have the opportunity to be saved as well. So, can I just give you a challenge? Can I give you some encouragement as we look forward to getting back together? And that day is coming, and every day gets closer, and I'm so excited. But as we look forward to getting back together, would you just be talking with God about who's the person that's still in the water in your life that you need to reach a hand out to, that you need to pray for, that you need to serve, that you need to reach out to, that you need to bless or encourage? In some way, you let them know that you care about them and that you want God's best for their life. And I'm not saying you got to preach at anybody, right? I'm not saying you got to chuck Bible verses at them, but I'm saying like, you can talk with God and you can say, God, put somebody on my heart. And honest to goodness, he probably already has. Like if you're just being honest, you know that there's somebody in your life that's still in the water that needs you to reach out to them and offer them the hope and the peace uh, and the safety and the security um, of knowing God, even though there's kind of a storm raging right now in our culture, even though there's waves crashing all over the place, we know that we're, we're safe in his hand and other people need to experience that as well. So 
can I give you um, that encouragement? We're already planning life after our kind of quarantined situation, right? We're, we're already planning. We're already planning to be back together. And, you know, we're not sure, like we said earlier, like, are we still going to be able to, like, shake hands and high five and hug? And are people going to be weirded out? And are, you know, what's, what are things going to look like? But we are going to be back together. And who is it in your life right now that God would have you continue to kind of reach out to and continue to kind of plant those seeds? Maybe you need to invite them to small group this week. Middle school, maybe you need to invite them Wednesday night, 6.30. High school, maybe you need to invite them Thursday night, 6.30. Um, it's a place for you, right? It's a refuge for you. It's a, it's a place where you get recharged. It, set, it definitely could be that for somebody else if you would invite them. And when we do get back together, when we do have this kind of reunion party and this time when we celebrate kind of coming out of quarantine, you need to, you need to get them there. You need to say, hey, can I pick you up? Can I, can I bring you there? Because they're going to get glimpses all along when we have to be isolated and separated. They, they can get glimpses because of your invitations. They can get glimpses of the spiritual community that we call Southside students. But how awesome it's going to be when they get like immersed in it and we can be together in person. There's already been a couple of new people that have come to, uh, to small groups and they've come, they've come and they've stuck, which is, which is awesome. And I can't wait to let, I never met them in person. So I can't wait to meet them in person. And so I want to encourage you to, to think along those lines. Maybe, maybe at our next, um, our next uh, Southside Students Live uh, that we do, maybe you need to invite them just, just like you're here hanging out for, for a few minutes. Um, just say, hey, hey, click on this link and, and come and, and hang out with us. Like I said, maybe it's small group um, this week. So um, maybe you need to let them know about our Instagram so they can stay aware of the things that are going on. Let them know about our Remind 101 so they can stay informed. Um, so they can tell their parents about our parent newsletter. We're trying to do everything that we can just to keep everybody connected during this time. But every one of us has an opportunity and a responsibility to stay connected as well. So um, I'm praying for you. I'm speaking for Allie as well, uh, who's in the, uh, in the chat. So feel free to say hi to her. Uh, but we love you. We're praying for you continuously. Um, I spent a good chunk of the day yesterday just reaching out to, to students that, uh, uh, that I know and love, that we know and love. Um, so I hope that you know that we're in this thing together and we're, we're loving you and we're uh, praying for you. If there's anything that we can do, uh, you can reach out to us. Let me put our, our number back up there. Um, if you have any prayer needs, you can use this number right here, 646 7077. You can send that uh, to us. That's all anonymous. Uh, I mean, you can tell me who you are if you want, but I don't know anybody uh, who who sends a voicemail or a text uh, to that number. I don't know who it is, but I love the conversations that, that I get to have. And there have been a lot of people who just, they just need, they, they're frustrated or they have a question uh, or they need help with something or they need advice or they need encouragement. It's been really awesome to interact with people. So you can use that number for any of those reasons. Uh, that you would like to, but um, I just wanted to I just wanted to encourage you guys um, because we have this awesome opportunity to um, even though we have to be apart physically, we have this awesome opportunity to invite people to be connected spiritually. Um, and so I just wanted to just from my pastor's heart and Ali's pastor's heart to your heart, uh, I wanted to encourage you with that. Don't think that just because we are where we are that we kind of hit pause on reaching out and blessing and serving other people. Uh, if anything, it's more critical that we, that we kind of ramp that up even now because there will come a day very soon when we can be back together and we want to fold in those new people who have come along with us uh, during this kind of weird, crazy time uh, that our culture is in right now. So that's my encouragement to you. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out for a few minutes. Thanks for taking a study break. I know a lot of you have been doing schoolwork and homework um, all day long. Or thanks for waking up to, to be a part of this live stream. And uh, we're excited for, uh, I'll, I'll see many of you, let's see, tomorrow night, 6.30, high school, or middle school small group. If you don't have the Zoom link, just um, you can send uh, send me a request to this number, 464-7077. You can direct message us on Instagram, any of those other ways. And we'll send you the link, get you involved in our small group this week. So love you guys. Hope you have an awesome day. See you later.